What's going on everyone? It's me, your boy, Chris Hernandez, and welcome back to another episode of Should Your Kids Play? And today, we're talking about Spelunky. Splunky is one of those games that you play for the first time and you kind of tell yourself, this is going to consume all of my time. Splunky is a 2D platformer game that has the feel and vibes of an Indiana Jones movie. The point of the game is to make it through each level while collecting treasure and power-ups. The farther you make it, the harder the game gets. Every level is randomly generated and can contain some tough enemies. However, if you happen to die, you are forced to start back at square one, and by that I mean level one. The game has unique aspects such as using bombs to clear pathways, and using a rope to climb up and down onto platforms. This is helpful as there is fall damage in the game. There are also several other types of power-ups as well. One word of advice I will give to those who wanna play this game, don't linger for too long in each level or else something bad happens. Now, is there a social component to this game? Splunky is what I would call, or what one would call, a couch multiplayer game, meaning that it's local multiplayer only not online multiplayer. The difference is that the secondary player has to be present with you in the room. So there's no online social component to worry about for this one. Now how about cost? Both money and time. As of right now, in the year that we're in, most people are either gonna have a PC or a PS4, which Splunky is available for both. If you have a PS3, you can catch Spelunky on that as well. And as for Nintendo Switch, Spelunky is not yet available. It's said that it will be coming out in summer 2021. So for now, you can catch Spelunky on both PC and PS4 for $14.99 on both platforms. Now what about time? Spelunky is a pretty difficult game that will have you trying over and over to progress further and further throughout the game. If you or your kid is the type of completionist or competitive type, you'll spend hours on this game trying to get further and further runs. With that being said, if you get a main handle on how the game works, Spelunky should take maybe a little over 18 hours to beat. If you're into completing extra content and getting all accomplishments the game has to offer, you can spend around 41 to 88 hours on the game itself. And I'm assuming that's before it gets a little boring as the game does have a lot of repetitive gameplay. Now, how about that final rating and approval? I'm gonna go ahead and say this game is great for ages six and up. Platformer games are always fun for the kids and gameplay is easy to pick up on. The amount of hours you can spill into this game is a plus two. As you know, you're definitely getting your money's worth here. Now that's it for this one, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you want to catch all my videos at early releases, drop down to the description, visit my Patreon, think about subscribing, and you can catch all of my releases either a couple hours earlier or even days earlier. You even get to see early releases of my content calendar and things like that. Also, even more important, don't forget to show some love, throw a like, throw a comment, hit that subscribe button, and thanks again for watching.